the Bible is a living book. It's alive. It's, you know, as Scripture says, it's, it's living and active. And I think society today thinks that the Bible's dead. Mm. It doesn't have any relevance for me. That's an old book. It doesn't have any connection to me. But it's so living. So It has so much life within it. I think that's, that's the first thing. And secondly, when people engage with the Bible for the first time, they find that they are wanting to participate in it. They want to not just read it, but have a deeper encounter with it. You know, there's something visceral. There's something moving about reading Scripture. Uh, as I was saying in our seminar earlier, whenever I read God's Word, it moves me physically. And I think hmm. once someone reads the Bible for the first time, they get it and they see it, and the Bible becomes alive in their hearts. Uh, you were mentioning uh, Kyle and Laura, part of the revive ministry that they're they're in. The, uh, we have a uh, time to revive Bible, which is a marked New Testament that we share with people on the street, and it's designed so that you can show a copy of God's Word to someone who may have never read the Bible before. And there's a marked New Testament with marked verses in it. And we encourage people on the street to read it. And it may be the first time that that person's ever read Scripture in their entire life. Maybe they own a Bible, but they've never Mm -hmm. seen it open and used in the way that Kyle and Laura use it and others use it. And so, but once they do, they get it. They say, oh, this has meaning for me right now. I don't have to, I don't have to sort through this in any way. It really is relevant to my, my daily life today. John Herring joining us today here on the Beating House on Faith Radio. He is the CEO of Iron Stream Media. Joining me here at Faith Radio Meeting House Media Central at the 2022 Blue Lake Christian Writers Conference near Andalusia. Well, as the CEO of a Christian publishing organization, you obviously have your finger on the pulse of what God is doing. And, you know, as a Christian communicator myself, part of a media ministry, we recognize the great potential that is out there. And it's important that those who are called to communicate truth are actually doing that effectively. From your standpoint, what are you seeing God do through this this massive world of Christian publishing in which you play a significant role? I think what what we're seeing is people have a hunger and a thirst for righteousness, just as Scripture says. There, Mm. there, There is this incredible yearning, and there's a longing for something that's tangible, that's real, that they can hold on to. And maybe they didn't grow up in a church home. Maybe they were brought up in a Christian environment. But the ones that are coming now, they're wanting to dig deeper, have a greater understanding and knowledge of what that what that means. But it has to have practical application. It has to have some applicable uh, meaning to them or they're going to let it fall by the wayside. That's why they need to have someone go alongside them and disciple them and train them and teach them. We have I'm calling for laborers to be disciple makers today Mm -hmm. and churches or in schools or in businesses. We need you sharing God's word. We need you teaching others what it means to follow Christ. And you are with like minded people, dozens of them who are here at this conference who are wanting to learn more about how they can be more effective in carrying out the ministry that God has given to them. So what do you see as your contribution to this conference? Uh, It's just the opportunity to uh, give them some tools, some handles as they're, as they are writing Bible studies or they're writing their, their uh, nonfiction uh, understand an understanding of uh, from our perspective, what we're seeing in the marketplace, what people are calling for, what the needs are. And I think, uh, the real deep desire for most that we're seeing now is someone to come alongside, someone to walk with me. So it may be that we're writing tools to uh, uh, put into the hands of the workmen, you know, to help help this happen. It may be we're providing resources for those who don't know where to go to find that person who would come alongside them. But either way, we've got to find ways to pull them both both together. We need to have more laborers, and we need to give them the tools to go out and reach and uh, uh, really make an impact on those who are seeking right now.